So this is a TA90, the top heater. You are going to find also uh, top heater by infrared tubes. It's mostly like an oven. It's going to have all digital control and it's going to have preset uh, ramps, heating curves in the machine. But any of those you can customize, modify yourself. It has a big preheater that is one of the most important characteristics of this machine. Remember that the key of any procedure is in the preheating. So we're going to have 1200 in preheating here and we're going to have uh, air waves that uh, basically in the manual you're going to find that they are based on the components of your soldering and you're going to say oh but the components how is that? Well mostly all waves what they want to do is get into five six minutes and uh, get to a high melting point and then do with the chip so basically that's what the waves are doing what the things you need to learn is when the board is coming to you what matters is it was fixed before it is new and then you choose that's that's basically all and that if you want the curve to do something faster or slower you just modify the curve save it and, and then you have so we have basically three first curves that uh, say that you have thin and lead right those components are like very industrial that's mostly for people that is making boards so the three first curves basically you can make your own right uh, if you want to do a quick reflow just uh, put up uh, those curves from number four or five to a top temperature then going down that's called an increase the crease procedure and that will be a quick reflow the curve that you are going to use for any lead board is going to be number four that's the most common paste that all the boards for desktop or laptop use uh, 45 or 40 percentage of lead that's going to be for all that is lead some board that was worn before you got it in your hands that's going to be around curve number four it's not going to be exactly number four again you need to play with those curves if you wanted before or after that one i'm going to teach you how to play a little bit with those waves that are there uh, and the most common unlead soldering is the wave number six that is uh, silver and copper in four and 0.5 percent that's high melting point so we're going to check this machine now and how you are going to program your waves and you will be able to do any quick reflow any lifting with the new T a90 by puhuiti.com remember buy original machines okay so we have here the control panel of the tx90 so you have a menu of three functions on on off for the preheating plate on off for the heat lamp and three to select wave so we have if we do f1 and f1 again two beeps and it's on two beeps and it's off F2 the same. One beep is on, three beeps is off. Okay? So now we go to F3. F3, the first thing is going to hit, tell me the temperature for the preheating plate. So with F3, I can put it up, with F4, I can put it down. So I'm going to use, we're going to put it in 200. This machine is going to do. 0.45 it means that one degree every 2.2 seconds that's how curves are done so if you have one degree per second is a faster curve if you have one degree every 2.2 seconds is a is lower so we're going to do a fast reflow here more or less is how this uh, machine is already programming the preheating so we're going to get to the 200 and then we go to f2 and f2 you are going to have all the waves from wave 1 to eight, wave 8 what if I want to change my wave so you are going to see in your machine that the number 1 is blinking it means that you can at this moment 
you can program that number if you push F5. You push F5 until you see that that number one is not blinking anymore. It has a little square blinking on top. Then with F3 and F4, you can increase or decrease your temperature. Then you push again number five, and then the number is going to blink again. It means that your number one is done. If you push the number F4, then it's going to move to number two. It means the minute number two of your curve. Then you go again, push number five, until you get the square blinking, and with F3, you can go up, with F4, you can go down. After you do that, you put F3, and all the machine is set. With F1, it will start your preheating. It goes to 200, and with F2, it will start the curve that you just check right now, and you choose to work with. And that's more or less how you program your TA90.